This girl posted a viral video about her dad's book and you won't believe what happened to the book. Inspired by a true story, I actually, that's one reason I want to watch this. Sorry, we're pausing already. But I saw a TikTok of this, like what's about to happen, literally happen. I mean, I'm sure they'll change it up a bit, but let's, let's start. Dad. Dad. Hey. Uh, huh? I can't believe you fell asleep in here again. You know you can't keep pulling these all-nighters. You're not 20 years old anymore. He's grinding out the book. You okay. I'm used to pulling all-nighters all the time when I was taking care of your mom. Oh, gosh, I miss her. Writing this book brings back so many memories. I can only imagine. I hope that I find a husband that will take care of me the way you took care of her. Heartwarming. Anyway, we've got to go, Dad. Okay, you know how these publishers are. If we're even five minutes late, they will cancel. You're right. Wait a second. Let me go back a little. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just she was saying like, you can't be doing this. You can't be pulling the all-nighters. But now she's saying, you got you got to work on the book, right? Let me just make sure that's what happened. You know you can't keep pulling these all-nighters? Yeah, she just said that. And now she, now she says, if we're even five minutes late, they will cancel. Now she's like, you got to get you got to get it done. All right, all right. Let's, this is where we were. I was going to say, let's go back to where we were. This is where I we were. I made some changes to the book. Oh. How do she, I? Dad, I've showed you this shortcut at least a hundred times. And you know how I am about technology, Tina. Back in my day, it would print only if you just touched a key. Well, welcome to 2023, Daddy, okay? Get with the program. It's not a typewriter anymore, okay? Now we've got AI and chatbots and TikTok. Tick up what now? TikTok. Never mind. Just go, go, go. Come on, I'll do this for you and then I'll meet you in the car, okay? <laughs> Wait, in the car, so it's not nighttime? So, what do you think? So it's, okay, sorry guys, I was wrong. The way she was saying it, it seemed like he was like pulling an all-nighter, but no, they had to get this into the publisher man here, okay. Let me ask you something. He doesn't like it. How many books have you already published? Zero. None. This should be my first. I've been working on it for 10 years. 10 years? Are you kidding me? You know, writers nowadays come out with one book every other year minimum. Now that's what it takes to be successful. I, I understand. This project is very important to me. So I took my time with it. And to be honest with you, I'm not a fast type. Look, I'm gonna be real with you, old man. You have no experience. This book is mediocre at best. And if by some small chance that it is successful, I'll be dead by the time you come out with a second book. And if not me, definitely you. <laughs> Jeez, that was harsh. That was dark. I'm sorry, man. But the answer's no. But, but sir, Big Doc's gonna come in clutch. This is a tribute to my wife. I promised her before she passed, the whole world would know her story. It's really This is a business, Alvin. Nobody cares about some sob story about your wife. No offense, but just because it matters to you doesn't mean it's gonna matter to someone else. So if you don't mind. I understand, sir. Thank you for your time. He's gonna go home, tell her he didn't like it, blah, blah, blah. And then she's gonna record her, him, um, sad and stuff, Before post on TikTok viral. He's gonna be like, oh my gosh. You can give me. A lot of publishers have already said no. Oh my gosh, how could I have said no to him? Face the truth. You're way past your prime for writing. <laughs> Jeez, he's evil. Listen to the laugh. Hey, Dad. Well, how'd it go? Well, it went okay. You see, this one some more time to think about it, that's all. That's not a no, right? Mm, kind of. Okay? Kind of is. Yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know, maybe this, this book just isn't what it's supposed to be right now. You know, we've had like, what, 19 publishers? Stop it, Dad, you cannot think like that. You've worked really hard for this, okay? And I know how much it means to you, so you cannot give up now. Plus, we have one more meeting to go to. I don't know. You don't think maybe I'm too old to be an author? I mean, I am 62. I ain't no spring chicken. So it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be successful at any age. 
And you remember when mom wanted to pick up ballroom dancing and how crazy you thought it was at first? Yeah, it was crazy. I remember being in class with 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds. You're right. When you told mom that she was too old, what did she say? It's You're never too, too old. Late. Oh, that's what I was trying to say. Go after your dreams. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> and then one year after her first dance class, she was on stage dancing in front of dozens of people. Yeah. It was like the happiest I had ever seen her. I'll never forget how her eyes just lit up. It was like she was a kid again. It was right before she found out she had cancer. My point is... If mom wasn't too old to be a dancer in her 50s, there's no reason you can't be an author. In your, in your 60s. 60s. Right? Now, come on. You've got one more meeting, and it's going to go great. I can feel it. Well, we kind of already know what's going to happen. They're going to say no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not trying to, like, laugh. It's, it's, it's not a real story, guys. Well, it is. Let's do this for mom. But it's not. They're acting right now. It made her sad, but daughter. I don't. I don't think she would. She's gonna actually like. From what I've read so far, you know what I mean. Really sweet. Yeah, really sweet, but not not what we're looking for. You had me in tears. <laughs> it was love at first sight, no doubt. At least this girl looked like. You know, was my soul. Doesn't seem like she's gonna be like, oh, you suck it out here, old man. I do. But unfortunately, our firm doesn't publish these types of books. I knew it. How did I know? We focus more on fiction. That's why I'm sorry, Mr. Trotter, but I'm going to have to pass on it. See, she's polite about it. The other guy, you're too old. You'll be dead by the time it goes viral. Okay. Yeah. I'm just not looking forward to telling my daughter it's another no. You know? Um, anyway, thanks for your help. You know, Mr. Trotter, I usually don't meet with people who write nonfiction, but I... I just wanted you to know that your story really moved me. Have you considered self-publishing? Self-publishing? Is that a thing? Well, sure it is. Nowadays, you don't need a publisher at all. Technology's really changed the game. Wow. Well, what do I do? Do you know anyone who's good with technology? I'm sure they could help you figure it out. My daughter. She's scrolling on TikTok right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alvin is excited to share this new plan with his daughter, Tina. As expected, Tina's completely on the <laughs> Let me see that book. The Self-Publishing Manual. Is that an actual book? I, obviously, I guess it is. By Maggie Rose. Tina's Shout out to Maggie. completely on board and quickly learns everything about self-publishing. Within no time, she helps to get her father's book published. Woohoo! <laughs> But this is what's gonna happen. It doesn't do good at first. Oh, and then he's sad. He's like, oh, I'm a failure. And then she records him saying that. Not a, she, That's not exactly how it's gonna go, but it's not like this. Oh, I'm a failure. She records it. Boom, viral. Oh, what the heck? Huh? He wakes up in the morning. Whoa, I just got a million downloads on my book. A million buys. How, how is this happening? It's the power of TikTok. Watch, guys. Alvin's over the moon when he gets to hold a copy of his book in his hands for the first time. He's finally on track to honor the- Wait a second. I'm curious. I feel like this isn't- Wait, let me see the book. Let me see the book. Letter to my wife, Regina. Let me see if this is the actual book. No, I'm assuming it would have popped up first if it was. So I thought maybe this was like a real picture, but no, I guess not. He's like of the real life. To honor the promise he made to his late wife. Of the real thing that happened, like in real life. To not not acted. Out, Alvin sets up a book signing at a local store. Everything seems to be going great in the beginning until he realizes no one cares about his new book. Not only does no one show up, there are no online sales. I items. knew it. See, he's going to be like, oh, no sales. He's only sold a few copies. Alvin starts to feel discouraged again. Where is she with the camera? She's in the corner watch. They're going to pan to her. Did he Never know. mind. Things were about to get even worse. Thank you. This card's gonna decline. Your drink, my dear. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. 
Wait, what is this? What you always get. Caramel coffee with soy milk and... Mm -mm. Oh, oh, that's your mom's drink order, isn't it? It's okay. I know she's been on your mind a lot lately. I just feel awful, you know? I made a promise to her and I broke it. Dad, you published a book about her. That's amazing. And much more than most would do. Yeah, but what's the point if nobody's gonna read it? My promise to her was to make sure the whole world knew her story. Not just three people. Look, I don't want you to feel that way, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sorry, I've gotta take this call, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Uh oh, what's on the call? That's the bad news. Wait. Is that that? Don't tell me. Alvin Trotter, right? That's him. Hey, how have you been? <clears throat> I'm doing okay. Hey, did you ever find a publisher for that book? Uh, He's gonna start laughing now. What? Uh, my daughter and I are self-publishing it. He's gonna laugh now. <laughs> how many sales? How many have you sold? Yeah, three. <laughs> hmm. Okay, like what? Three. 300,000? 3,000? What? No, as in uh, three books total. He's gonna laugh now. <laughs> 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 Is she recording? No, she left her phone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I that, that guy is funny. He's just dead. I I've never heard of anyone selling so few books. Oh, don't feel bad about it. But it's just like I told you. You're way past your prime for riding old time, huh? But there's always bingo. He's gonna start laughing you know, again. They have local game night over at the retirement home where I take my mom. <laughs> Excuse me. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I'm Aww. so sorry about that. She's crying. She's gonna it was ask. actually Paul. Yep. Are you all right? I'm fine. I, I just need a minute, okay? She's gonna start recording now. Start recording! Oh, he even put his wife's name on it, too. Oh, here's the, here's the video. Hi guys, my name is Tina Trotter and I have a story that I want to tell you. 10 years ago, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And while it was hard to watch her health go down, it was really inspiring to see my dad just be there by her side. Right before my mom passed, my dad made a promise to her that he would write a book telling her story so the whole world would know how much of an amazing woman that she is. And he's taken that promise pretty seriously. He devoted the next 10 years of his life to writing this book for my mom. And finally, this past year, he published it. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone quite as well as he hoped. Um, he's only sold three books, and my dad has taken it pretty hard. Feels like he broke his promise to my mom or is letting her down. So I, I thought I'd come on here and just ask for a miracle. If you find the kindness in your heart to support my dad, you don't understand how much that would mean to him if you bought his book. I'll put the link in my bio. Just thank you. Thank you so much. I believe, I believe what actually happened. I could be wrong because I, I saw the video, but I'm pretty sure she was literally just recording her dad like in a workspace, like from, from the distance. And he was like, just really stressed out. And it was like in text explaining or something. I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Tina decides to post her emotional video on TikTok. And within a short time- How many views? To her surprise- How many? The video ends up- 12 million likes! Oh, <laughs> that's viral, viral. Sales for Alvin's book start pouring in. Alvin oh. doesn't understand how this is all <laughs> happening, but he's over the moon in excitement. 
everywhere he goes, people start to recognize him and tell him how much they love his wife's story. Alvin is so happy. Oh, the signature. Delivering on his oh. promise and honoring Regina's legacy. He even decides to do another book signing. And this time, the guy he's comes in for a little surprise. The guy's gonna Thank come. You so much. This tribute to your wife is so beautiful. Reminds me of my late wife. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Trotter, it's such a pleasure. This book was so touching. The way you speak about your wife is truly inspirational. I must have cried a hundred times reading it. Thank you so much. You know, Regina was an incredible woman. I'm glad people all over the world know that now, too. You know, seeing what you've done makes me want to write my own book. But it's probably not a good idea. Why not? Well, for starters, look at me. I'm in my 70s. I'm way too old to start a writing career. That's not true. My dear Regina would always tell me. And... You're never too late to give up on your dream or something. I forget it already. You are never too old to go after your dreams. Never. That's so beautiful. Maybe I'll write my first page today. You know, I really don't have an excuse to not to try. My son's a publisher. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, he's around here someplace. I bet it's, it's... All right, I'm over here. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's too funny. You. You two know each other? Congrats, Alvin. I mean, who'd have thought? She's going to be mad. a huge success. Can't believe it's been at the top of the chart six weeks in a row now. Not bad for an old man past his prime, right? Yeah, uh, look. I want to apologize for doubting you. But I uh, definitely see the value in what you're doing now. I can't even believe my own mother is a big fan of your work. Listen, I was thinking, maybe we could uh, meet up to discuss a possible second book deal. Really? You want to sign me now? I appreciate it. Thank you, but But I got everything I need right here. Maybe uh, you can help your mom with her book. Wow, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Come on, son. We can talk about it in the car. <laughs> we don't want to hold up the line. Come on. Take care now. Yeah. Mom would be so proud of you. You know that? Now, all we have to do is find me a husband. Mm hmm. I've got an idea. He's the next one in line. Maybe I can get the whole world to help me do that thing with, uh, you know, what do you call it? Tick a who? Tick a what? Tick tock. Oh. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, actually. Where's your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, comedic ending. There's the video. There's the video. I love for him to get some sales. He doesn't even know what TikTok is. That's actually so heartwarming, though. Like the real story. That's crazy. The power of the internet, my friends. The power of the internet. The internet has changed my life. Gonna make me cry now. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to slap that like button subscribe if you're not already turn on post notifications so you never miss another episode and i'll see you guys in the next one peace